Hi, welcome to this video series on Cucumber. In this video, we are going to see what are the different ways that you can download jars and use them to run the feature file. Please note, this video is for someone who wants to use Java to write the Cucumber test. So let's get started. Now we will see what are the different ways that you can download the Cucumber jars and use them to write and run Cucumber feature files. The first one is the manual download. You go to the Maven central repositories or other places where the jars are available, you download them and link them with your project and use them to write and run Cucumber feature files. The second way that we are going to see is using the build tool. And in this video, we are going to see that using the Maven tool. Before you start downloading the jars manually, you need to know that the Cucumber jars are available under two different group IDs on the Maven Central repository. The first group ID is info.cucs and the second group ID is io.cucumber. Info.cuc is an legacy group ID and all the jars from the info.cuc is now moved into the io.cucumber. Hence, all the jars that we are going to download, they will be downloaded from the group ID which is io.cucumber. list of the jars that we are going to download from the maven central repository and use those jars to write very simple feature file and run that feature file using the jars that we have downloaded some of you might be wondering why i have not included cucumber junit jar in this list of the jars that i mentioned and there's a reason for that because the cucumber junit jar adds the additional runner capability that we don't need at least for this simple example and in the future videos that I'm going to create, I will be explaining you how does the Cucumber JUnit jar or the Cucumber test ng jars add the runner capabilities. Please note that you need following versions of the jars in order for you to write and run your Cucumber feature files. I will put the list of all of these jars along with the version numbers in the description section so that you can download the relevant jars from the Maven Central repository. In this demo, we will see how to download the jars from the mavenrepository.com. Please note, I have listed down only the two URLs here, but it is not limited to only these two URLs. You can download the jar from other repositories as well. You can download the jars from your internal organization repository as well. Now we are on mavenrepositories.com. Let's search for the jar file that I had listed in the previous slides. I go here, I put the artifact name, which is Cucumber hyphen Java and then I click on the search button. When I do that, I can see Cucumber Java is available. And now you can see it is available at two places. One is under the io.cucumber and the another one is the info.cuc. As I mentioned that info.cuc is a legacy group ID and this is not deprecated. That means we need to use the Cucumber Java from the io.cucumber. Click on the Cucumber hyphen Java. Now you can see the latest version in this is 7.11.1. Click on that one. And now you can see there is an option to download a jar. So click on this option of jar and the jar file should get downloaded. In the similar way, you need to download all the rest of the jars, which I had mentioned in the previous slides. I have created a very simple Java project in the IntelliJ and all the jars which I had downloaded is now kept in a folder called jars. Now I'll be associating all of this jar to this project. And to do that, I go to the project structure, then I go to the module, dependencies, and I give the location of the folder where all the jars are kept. Now here you can see that I've already configured this. And let me show you what else is there in the project. If you go to the source, you can see that I have created a very simple feature file and a associated glue file. So when this step is going to, will get executed, it's going to call the glue step, which is mentioned in the steps files. As I have mentioned in my earlier slides that we are not going to use the JUnit runner or the test and runner to run the feature file. What we are going to do, we are going to use the method which is provided by the Cucumber itself and that is present in one of the jar. Let me show you the location. If you go to the jars, you go to the Cucumber score, Go to io.cucumber.core, go to the CLI and go to the main. And this is the class that we are going to use to run our feature file. Now let me show you an example that how the feature file can be executed using the main class provided in the Cucumber core jar file. 
let me show you the run configuration that I have. In this run configuration, you can see the class which has the main method is specified here and the parameter or the arguments which needs to be passed to this main method is specified here. For now, just ignore what is this P. This basically refers to the plugin and these are the parameters that we are passing and one of them, one of the parameters in that is the location of the feature file. Now we will see when we do the execute, how does it run and what's the output that we get. To run this feature file, I will go to the run configuration and say run. So if I go to the run configuration, I click on this, you will see in the output that the feature file got successfully executed. Now let's take a look how we can run the feature file using the simple Java command. Here Java is nothing but the Java interpreter. Minus CP is nothing but the class path which basically refers to all the Java files that we have as well as all the jar files that we have. In our case the class file that we will have is very simple step definition class file. Now if you look at all of this jar files and the class file location the first one refers to basically the class file of the step definition and in our IntelliJ this is the location where the class file is present for the step definition Java file and the rest are nothing but the jar file which is present in the jar folders in our project and the io.cucumber.code.cli.main this is nothing but the class which has the main method and we are going to pass the parameter to it which will allow it to run the feature file which we had earlier ran through the IntelliJ. Now let me show you by running the command. I go to the project location and I open the command prompt and I run the command and then you will see that I'll be able to execute the feature file. Let's see it. Thank you. Now we are going to take a look at the second option to download all the required jars that we need to run a simple feature file. And in this case, we are going to see that using the Maven build tool. In your organization, most likely you will be using this option or you can use some other build tool, but you will never be downloading all the jars manually and do your work. We have two options to download the jar in the Maven. The first is simply writing the command which is displayed on the screen, which is MVN, which is Maven, hyphen D artifact. There we are setting the property of the artifact and the parameter to this is io.cucumber, which is nothing but the group ID. If you remember, we discussed that io.cucumber is the group ID where all the jars are available. The second option is the Cucumber Java. Um, there is a reason that we are using the Cucumber Java and I will explain that when I will be op explaining the second option which is available to download the jars in the Maven itself. And the third option is the version number which is 7.11.1. You remember that I had shown you all the versions that you need to download? Yeah. And in this case, what we will do we don't have to remember any of those versions. When you specify the jar version, which is the parent jar, and you specify that you are enabling the transitive dependency, it will download all the dependencies that the dependent jars need. So we don't have to worry about downloading the individual jars. And the second option by using the Maven build tool is by creating a Maven project. When I say Maven project, that means a Java project which has the POM file in it, and it also follows the folder structure which is specified the maven which is you have a main class and you have main folder and you also have a main test folder and the test folder is going to contain the feature file and this glue file which is the step definition file and because we are going to write the feature file for the test that's the purpose that i have kept feature file and the step definition in the test folder let's take a look at the first option that we discussed about the downloading the jar with the maven build tool. In this command, if I just press the enter, you will see that we will start downloading all the jars that we need 
then it's going to copy all the jars in the Maven repository on your local machine. So let's wait for this to complete. Now you can see that all the jars are downloaded. So this is one way. And now we'll go back to the second option that we discussed. That was the building the Maven project in the IntelliJ. Instead of using the first option that we discussed, where we write a Maven command, which basically downloads all the jars or any one the transitive dependencies into the local repository, we basically go for the option which is available in the Maven is by creating a project. That means having a POM file. This basically helps us while running the program because we don't have to associate all the jar files manually to the project, but that will be taken care by the IntelliJ itself. That means all the jar files location will be added to the class path. We will see that now. This Maven project also has the feature file, same as what we had used when we had downloaded the jars manually and it has its associated step definition file. Please note that we are not going to run this project as a Maven project. Yeah, I have mentioned that we have used as a Maven project, but that is the purpose was only to download the jars. We are still going to run by calling the main method, which is available in the cucumber core jar file. And to run it, let me show you the configuration. If you see this, we are still going to use the same main class and I'm giving the location of the feature file. The only thing is that I do not have to associate the jar location in this. And when I say, when I'm going to run it, it will run it and all the class for path is basically going to refer to the jar files, which is available into the Maven local repository. All right, I will do an execution. When I run it, it runs successfully. And again, as I'm saying that I'm not running it as a Maven project, but I'm simply running it by calling a main method, which is available in the main class of the cucumber.core. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.